Should I buy or rent a home, condo, or townhome in Las Vegas? The decision to buy or rent a home, condo, townhome, or high-rise as an owner-occupier depends on the following. How long the buyer will stay at the residence, the Las Vegas real estate market, affordability, interest rate for buyers who need to finance their deal, availability of listings at or below current market value, and rental rates. Let's talk about how long the buyer intends to keep their residence in the Las Vegas real estate market. As of January 2015, the median price for Las Vegas homes has gone up by 10.1%. However, the median price appreciated by 2% in the last six months of 2014. As for the median price for townhomes and condos, it remained pretty much unchanged in the past 12 months. We wouldn't be surprised if prices come down a bit in 2015 before rebounding in 2016 and going up at an accelerated rate for the subsequent two to three years. Given the current state of the Las Vegas economy and what is to come, another 25 to 30% in price appreciation in the next five years is more than probable. Please see our Las Vegas real estate market blogs and videos for a detailed discussion. Now you know why we believe that buyers who can't stay in their home or condo for at least three years should go ahead and rent, while those who will keep their home for five years or more should seriously consider buying if they can. Affordability. Even though Las Vegas homes and condo values have risen at some of the fastest rates nationally, one must remember that prices have risen from fire sale levels of 2011 and the median price is still about 30% less than the peak price of 2006. Residential properties in the Las Vegas Valley are still more affordable than other big cities in the Sun Belt, and the median price is below the average national median price. Low interest rates for mortgage loans. A typical owner occupied a homeowner in Las Vegas pays about 15% of his or her income for a mortgage while this number is about 40% in San Francisco and Los Angeles. As for mortgage rates, the current interest rate of about 4% is still at historical lows, but it will not stay there, and there is serious talk of raising it this year. The following is from Bloomberg on January 6, 2015. Based on the Fed's forecast, policymakers expect the first rate increase around June. At a press conference after the statement was released, Fed Chair Janet Yellen said the first increase could come as early as April of 2015. Now we do not know how much the interest rates will go up in 2015, but be aware that as a rule of thumb, a one point increase in interest rates cuts down the buyer's purchasing power by about 10%, which is not much different than having a 10% increase in the price of the home or condo, and possible price drops could be easily offset with higher mortgage interest rates. Owning can be cheaper than renting. One of our clients, who is a veteran and good family friend, was renting a two-bedroom condo for $850 per month. We talked him into purchasing a three-bedroom condo in a much better community in 2011, and he refinanced his loan in 2012 and is paying 2.5% interest for his loan. His mortgage payment plus HOA fees and property tax is about $600, while rental rates for the same condo in his subdivision is about $1,100 to $1,200. Prices have appreciated by more than 66% since he bought his condo, and mortgage rates are up also. However, even now in Las Vegas, Henderson, and North Las Vegas, the break-even horizon, which is defined as the time it takes until owning a home becomes less expensive than leasing it, is just 1.5 years, while in other cities, such as Washington, D.C., it is 4.2 years. Owning a house or condominium becomes cheaper than renting one faster in the valley than in most other cities. Due to still low prices, and yes, they are still low, and a larger inventory of homes and condos that are not under contract, buyers have more choices, even though the majority of listings are priced out of the current market. Additionally, in 2012 to late 2013, buyers who wanted to finance their purchase were shot out of the market by cash investors. This has changed and buyers who followed our advice about getting as close to underwritten pre-approved before making an offer can easily compete with the dwindling pool of cash investors. What works against buying a home or condo? 
We have repeatedly said that if one is not certain about staying in the Las Vegas Valley for at least three to five years, they should go ahead and rent, especially if they want to finance, as paying for financing costs in addition to taxes on both sides of the deal and commissions will wipe out more than 12% in price appreciations. High asking prices on the seller's side. Although the inventory of homes and condos has increased significantly, the majority of these are priced out of the market, thus restricting the number of available listings that one can make an offer on. Sellers play hardball due to 33 out of 36 months of price appreciation and think that if they don't get what they want, they will get it in three to six months. Patience is essential as a couple of price drops may be needed before making an offer, even when a buyer falls in love with the house or condo. Rental rates. Investors who bought their property in 2010 to mid-2012 are making more than 10% cash flow on their investment. This has kept rental rates down and good deals abound. However, rental rates have gone up in 2014 and are projected to go up further in 2015. Conclusion, if you are planning to buy an owner-occupied home, condo, townhome, or high-rise condominium and keep your residence for about five years, 2015 is a good time to buy, especially if you plan to get a mortgage. This was a short and general discussion about is it a good time to buy a home or condo in the Vegas Valley, but each prospective buyer is a unique case. If you are not certain about whether you want to buy or rent a home or condo in Las Vegas, Henderson, or North Las Vegas, please contact us and we will be happy to guide you. Please call me at 800-762-4917 or 702-478-7800 and subscribe to our Las Vegas Real Estate channel for upcoming videos. This is Karen Sabrazade of Realty One Group and www.lasvegasforus.com wishing you a great day.